Hey guys, this is lesson number 58 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create this beautiful background with lighting effect in Coral Draw. Basically, here we have only main three elements. The first one is background, that is a rectangular shape. Second one is a vector floral design, that is repeated. And the third one is a lighting effect. This rectangular shape in the back, we fill with the gradient by using interactive fill. This vector floral design we got from the image using trace bitmap and then we apply transparency mode and here we have lighting effect this is just a simple circle and we achieve this result by using transparency this type of background you can use for greeting cards wedding cards or any design layout you think it is suitable for that you can use so let's see how it's done zoom tool fit to page height if I will click in my page, here you can see the size. This is A5 and landscape. The size you can choose here. First of all, we will create background. Double click on a rectangle. To fill with color, we will use interactive fill. So here we have, click on interactive fill and choose fountain fill. And from here, elliptical fountain fill. From center point, we can relocate this way all right now we are going to add our desired color from the swatches i will add color here we have a blue purple and here i can fill orange anytime we want we can edit the color i want dark purple so i will click on this small point click on this drop down and here we have option click on show color viewer and get some darker version of the purple this way close the color mixer let's add this floral design file import here I have JPEG file click on import okay this is a photo and we are going to get the vector object from this we need to trace it you can type in the Google vector floral and lot of sample you will get there. I have brown color. You prefer to get white background with the black color. You can reduce the size. So it will be easy for Coral Draw to trace the detail. Once it is selected, click on trace bitmap. Outline trace, line art. This is before and this is now. Click OK. Now we have another copy that is vector. And this what we can delete, increase the size. But there is one issue, once I will fill color, let's add yellow. You can see we lost the detail. Control Z undo. It is because there is a lot of elements, group elements that is having brown color and white color. And once the, everything is selected, Coral Draw will fill color in all objects. So you cannot see any more detail in this case. Simply we need to ungroup all, everything is selected and click on weld. Now white and brown objects are combined and this time if we will try to fill different color, look at this, it is okay, it is perfect. So I am going to add yellow, here we can mirror, mirror vertically and place it in your desired location. To duplicate this, it is a simple press plus key from the numeric keyboard press control and move it now press control D to duplicate and here we have five copies and that is more than enough we can select all of them and simply group once again press plus key to duplicate mirror vertically by pressing control key you can move so coral draw will maintain the vertical alignment and just place it this way by pressing shift key we can click on the first repeated objects now all of them are selected simply group once again now if we will click on this vector object everything will be selected since it's a group we'll change the transparency mode so go to transparency from normal to overlay it's really depend on your color you can change the blend mode according to your color setting I will apply overlay and that's really work for my background 
now we are going to add the lighting effect it is very simple we'll create one small circle fill it with white color remove outline in first place we will apply transparency go to transparency fountain transparency and we'll choose elliptical fountain transparency this way zoom it if i will click on pick tool you can see this how we got this effect to make it sure that the edges of our object is not really sharp we can go back to the transparency and move this point a little bit inside okay that is fine now this object is filled with the white color simply we will change the transparency mode click on this drop down and apply add now you can see that in our this circle color is added from the background it is affected from the background and wherever you will move according to the background color the shade will be changed it is ready and we can place wherever we want by pressing plus key we can duplicate and locate but this is quite boring task and uh, it takes time so there is a handy way you can save this as an artistic media spray and using artistic media tool wherever you want you can spray in your background and even you can change the size the object is selected simply go to effect artistic media artistic media docker is open simply click on save and it is asking brush or object sprayer we need object sprayer then click ok here previously i saved if i want i can replace anyone or i can type new name let's say we have here star i will just add another name star 2 and click on save once we will save our new sprayer is here you can see this this is our new sprayer and we can use in our background so this is the basic object i can click on pick tool and this time i can delete this sprayer is selected i will go to the artistic media artistic media tool is active click on drag and look at this it is sprayed and if i will click and drag this way there is an object and if you want you can still control here image per dabbing spacing 25.4 is there Let's say 26 27 so this how we can place now if we want we can still change the size but let's place once again Just click and drag. Here our last stroke it is selected. Click outside to deselect. Once again click on artistic media. And this time we are going to change the size. So here size of the spread object I will select 60 press enter. This time once we will spray click and drag you can see that our spread size is smaller. So this is how we achieve this beautiful result. Now if I want to group these all artistic media objects, it is very simple. Go to pick tool, select the background, press shift key and simply click on this floral design. Now our background and this floral design is selected. Right click, lock. We lock the background and these vector objects. Now if we want we can select the lighting, pick tool is active just click and drag once you will click and drag to select the lighting the background and the floral design will not be selected anymore since it's locked click on group so now we can access all object with single click we will click outside and once again I will select the lighting control Z so these are the stroke from the sprayer we draw using artistic media so basically we have three elements lighting effect vector objects that's grouped and the background so this is how we achieve this beautiful result i hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you